Hi guys, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. The other day we got in our new order of the Shearwater Peregrine dive computer. And you know, I was uh, really impressed with this new unit. And I guess what really impressed me so much was how user friendly it is, how easy it is to see, things along these lines. And, and I actually started to do a video, what I call a typical button pusher type video. And I had looked around and there's, you know, a number of the other channels that have done some really good button pushers. And, you know, I decided I, I wasn't going to do that for this particular video on the Peregrine and maybe a little bit about why I believe the Peregrine is going to be so popular. And I happened to work the weekend after the Peregrines came in. We got 10 of them. And I came out here. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the, the dive computer or risk computer area. And I started talking to people that were looking for dive computers. And of course, you know, in, in years past, we've gone from something like this. This is actually called an Edge Instructor Orca, more of a bottom timer than anything else. And of course, back when I first started diving, we used dive watches and, you know, depth gauges and such. But today, people have become so much more uh, of course, educated. We like uh, the the uh, the electronics that we're able to use for our daily activities and such. And really, the new dive computers just make us so much smarter while we're diving, and they're kind of our second brain. So, I stood out here during the weekend and I talked to a number of people, sold a bunch of dive computers of different types, and and I. I kind of did some note taking and while I did the note taking I started looking at what are people asking so when they walk up what are they asking and I asked them some questions about what were those factors that that made them move toward a specific dive computer and it was quite interesting and most of us would probably think that price would have been the number one controlling factor. And in actuality, out of the top five, price was not, it was number three. And so what I'd like to go over with you is just what those five factors were. Let's start at number five. Number five was comfort. Comfort wearing the computer during the dive and also wearing the computer after the dive. And of course, some of the lesser expensive computers, they're kind of down on this end. Um, they're big, which makes them easy to see, things along those lines. But easy to see and easy to wear while diving is one thing, but while you're not diving and maybe on a dive trip, it's a whole different ball game. And you may need to kind of move down the case into this area and into this area to find something that's a little bit more wearable like this particular one or this one. How are you? And of course what we've ended up doing is we've moved from this type of dive bottom timer computer all the way up to a wrist computer like this. This is a, actually called a Shearwater Tarek which is the big brother to the Peregrine that's come out. So wearing comfort, diving or not diving was number five. Number four is battery life. Now, of course, these computers over here, these are mostly have the 2450 batteries, uh, that sort of thing. Many of them today, whereas in the past, they were not user uh, changeable today they are and they'll last a couple of years some of them as many as three years depending on how much diving you're doing so battery and of course now rechargeability are they rechargeable like the new peregrine is rechargeable it comes with its own uh, recharger dock 
it can utilize some other uh, battery docks. It does not work with, I'll just tell you, it doesn't work with the Apple phone charger, but it will work with some of the other uh, wireless rechargers out there. Number three, like we said, price. And of course, it's pretty amazing how, of course, we all know that as technology changes and we move forward that different things become more affordable, things stay the same price, but you get extra features, things along those lines. One of the things I noticed in the seven computers I sold that Saturday was the fact that, again, price was not that important. It was more one and two. So price tended to be of the seven that I sold. And like I said, this is our lesser valuable area or lesser expensive area. This is our middle priced area and this is the upper priced area. When we look at this, this is actually the predominance. I sold four from this area, one from this area and two from this area. Number two was how easy is it to see the computer? And of course, if we look over here, these are pretty easy to see. Some of them not quite so much. And of course, if it's a wrist style computer, depending on is it, you know, LCD or whatever, is it easy to see? So this happens to be from the middle section. And of course, our Tarek which is an incredible color computer, is from this end of the counter. And its capabilities are amazing, as well as its screen. What's number one? Number one is ease of use. So people would come up and the very first thing, and I actually had a couple that agreed to, to let me take some pictures of them and you're going to see her. She's going to have her new dive computer and she's going to hold it up at the end of this video. So watch for that. She's very proud. It was kind of interesting because when she and her husband came up and I was talking to them, she said to me, Bob, I hate my computer. I hate it. And it was quite quite interesting the way she said that because she said I, I don't dive every weekend and maybe it's a couple of months but because my computer is so complicated I tend to forget which button I got to push and how many times I got to push it and how long I got to push it for and stuff she says it's very confusing when I showed her the peregrine and I'm going to turn it on when I showed her the Peregrine, and I think you can see how easy that is to see, there's a menu button here, there's a function button there, you walk yourself through the menu, you select in the menu, you go to submenus, you select in submenus. It's that simple. And it says right here on the bottom exactly what you're doing. So when it comes to the Peregrine, and again, this is why I didn't do a button pusher. And if you want to see a button pusher video, just look down there. Uh, I think James has got one. Dive Right In's got one. Uh, Miss Scott's got one. A couple of others have got them now. Take a look at them. You'll see how easy this unit is to, uh, to work through as far as the, the menu goes. But the big thing I want you to understand is it seems like the shift has been from lesser expensive computers to the middle range computers that are color, easy to see, color, easy to use, and easy to navigate. And of course, if it's Bluetooth connected, that's a benefit also. If it connects to your phone, as well as your other computer and stuff, that's a benefit also. So that's a little bit about the Peregrine and a little bit about this section of computers today and computers in general. So if you like this computer, please reach down. <laughs> if you like this video, if you like this computer, buy one. 
But if you like this video, please reach down and hit the thumbs up. Leave us, if you're already diving up here, Grant, leave us a comment down below. I always read them. I do my best to respond to them. And uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, reach down there and hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. We're moving past 2,000 subscribers. We're on our way to 3,000. Love for you to be a part of that. And as we always say here at Diver Supply, I'm Bob Collins. Dive safe out there. Thanks for watching, folks. Becky's new computer. I think I had the uh, sound on that time.